Hey guys, welcome to the 12th video in the Python for Everybody series. Today we're going to solve the exercise from uh, chapter 13 in the book where uh, uh, we're going to use a Google API. Okay, so before you get started, make sure to download this code from the book. The link should be uh, in the chapter. It's geojson.py because we're going to use this code for our exercise. Okay, so the uh, exercise asks us to change the code, uh, which I just mentioned, to print out the two character country code from the retrieved data and also do some error checking. So uh, if the country code is not there, we should, uh, the program shouldn't stop. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the code we're going to use. So I'm going to copy this GeoJSON into my file here. Okay, and let's see. Uh, the, this code is explained in the book, so you might want to take a, a look first, but let's go quickly through it uh, together. Uh, here uh, we are using the URL lib, the JSON uh, library from Python, and SL. SSL. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, leave this part exactly like it is right here. Uh, we are not using API keys from Google, that's why we need this part. That's all you need to know at the moment. And uh, you, it's, I think it's too early for you to look into SSL certificate. So uh, just keep this part like it is and make sure you understand more of the logic that we're going to apply to the exercise than to than this part here okay so what this is doing is it's creating an infinite loop where we get an address from the user a location uh, we check if the address uh, the length of the string that the user inputs is uh, if it is less than one that means it's an empty uh, string we break the loop because uh, we can't do anything with that we get uh, the params, we, we create an empty dictionary right here for the uh, parameters and um, we assign an address key with the address that we get from the user. Then right here we just check for the API keys which is done by this part here and we construct the URL we want to request to the Google API. The service URL is this one. In this case, since we don't have the API key, we're going to use this service URL, which is, uh, oh, sorry, we're going to use this one since we don't have the keys. And then we're going to append at the end the address we get from the user. That's why we are doing the service URL plus URL lib parse URL encode, and we're going to give uh, the address that we get from the user as a dictionary. And then we're just printing while we are retrieving the URL. Uh, we are reading the data we get. And then we try to uh, use the JSON load string uh, function to load everything into uh, a JS uh, variable. So after we load everything into JS, we dump it into uh, we dump it into the screen to see to the screen to see uh, what we get from this API call, and uh, let's see what this gives us. So I'm just going to enter uh, the location where I am at the moment, which is Tirana in Albania. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. Okay, so uh, it's retrieving this URL. So this was the URL constructed. It retrieved 1,744 characters, which is this uh, JSON document right here. After we have loaded the JSON and dumped it and printed into the screen, this is what we get, which is a dictionary. And inside the dictionary, we have this results key and the status OK, which we check uh, for the status while we perform uh, some search inside this uh, JSON file. This results has a list with other dictionaries inside where we have address components and uh, for different administrative area levels and everything we get the formatted address 
and the place ID and the type. So for we want to find the country code right here. As you can see, the country code here is in the short name key in this dictionary. So this is a dictionary with a short name key will give us the country code. But this dictionary is in a list. The list, uh, as you can see, is called address components. And this is the last item in the list address components, which is again in another dictionary, which is the first dictionary in the results list. OK, this might get a bit confusing, so let's try to write some code first and see uh, how this works. I'm going to kill this terminal. So to get the latitude and the long, uh, longitude, as you can see, you go uh, in the JS dictionary results. So we get the first item of the result and then go to the key geometry, which, in, which is uh, a dictionary by itself. And it has a key location. And inside there, inside location, there's another key a lat for latitude. The same for longitude. So we will try to um, to get the country code. Okay, so I'm going down here. I'm going to uh, try to get the country code, which is again going to be in the JS dictionary. It is going to be in the results. Okay. And then, uh, as you let's let's run this again, so it's easier to see where to find the uh, the country code. So we want to go in the results. So I'm going in in the results here, and inside results we have uh, a list of dictionaries with address components and formatted address and geometry okay uh, the what we want is the country code let's see where that was okay so it's in this dictionary right here which is in the list address components so inside results we want to get the uh, the first dictionary so I'm going to put the index 0. And in here, we need address components. Address components. And inside address components, this is a list. We want the last item in the list. OK? So this is where we have the, the short name, which is the country code. So I'm going to uh, put this minus 1, which means uh, give us the last element in the list. Let's try to print this. So this is how uh, you usually are going to work with API. You are going to print the JSON that you get and uh, try to navigate through the JSON, through the dictionaries, through the lists to get what uh, you want from this API call. OK, so I'm going to print this country code. Let's try again Tirana. And as you can see, what this print gives me, it's in the end. It's right here. So you, we get the long name and the short name. And we want only the short name, the country code. OK? So this should give us the country code. Let's kill this terminal. So I'm going to get this key. This is the key we want. And I'm going to add here short name. Oh, sorry about that. Just type it in. It's better. OK. And I'm going to add this country code so you know what we are printing here. OK. So for the country code, I'm going into the results of the JS dictionary. This is a list. So we get the first element of the list. And uh, the first element is a dictionary. We want the address components, which is again another list inside a uh, uh, dictionary. So we want the last element of that list. and then we want the short name a key in the dictionary, which gives us the country code. OK, so let's run this for Tirana. In the end, we get the country code AL, which is for Albania, which is exactly what we want in this case. OK, now uh, we want to add the try except. 
for cases uh, where there is no country code. Okay, so I'm going to put this inside the try. And an except here. I'm going to say uh, print couldn't find the country code. Ah, sorry. Could not find the country code. Okay, so this is in a try except block. So for addresses where there is no country code, we need this try except block. Okay, guys, so um, this was all the exercise asked us to do. Um, make sure to uh, take a look again at the chapter in the book, read through how you can explore a JSON API. But since JSON APIs are mostly comprised of uh, Python primitives, uh, you get to navigate only through dictionaries, lists, and it's pretty much, uh, you, you just have to uh, look into it and see the structure of the document and it should be pretty easy. Okay, so that, this was the only exercise for this chapter. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, keep on learning and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos. Thank you guys for the support. Bye-bye.